uh, we're going to get started with another facet of working with cells and that is uh, within the course of design we may need to add certain structures like a culvert and so forth and um, civil cells are more than just intersections or more than just roads um, so in this case what we're going to do is place a culvert now to start uh, what we'll do first, uh, I had purposely left the end conditions off on my through road corridor so we could see a little better. And so what I'll do is I'll come in and simply reprocess that corridor. And this is going to place my end conditions. And once placed, I can then determine the extent perhaps of the abutment walls that we'll need to work with. So now, um, in this case, you know, we're definitely not trying to uh, take work away from uh, structural engineers for the bridge. We understand that that design will come from those engineers. However, as a, in the process or the course of designing our road, uh, it would be beneficial to have uh, some sort of structure in place to target our end conditions and so forth as we pass our corridor along the top and underneath these structures. So what we'll do is we'll turn off some constructions to clean things up and uh, perhaps a little later we'll go through and we'll clip everything but what we want to do is we want to uh, construct this bridge cell. So We'll come in and let's just pick it from our list. So we have a, a cell that I created called Pseudo Bridge. Uh, basically creates the abutment walls and so forth. And, and now these are just 2D entities. These are civil platform elements. And a uh, little known fact is that civil cells will actually place on plane microstation elements as well. Um, they need to be created with civil geometry as references, but they can place on microstation elements that are unruled. So locate the reference element uh, alignment. So that's the center line. Then we want to locate the left extent of our bridge. And since I don't have any three-dimensional extent, I'll just grab the edge of pavement of my road going through. Uh, and then I want to grab my left abutment, so that would be this one. Uh, I want to grab the right edge, so we'll grab the furthest extent out here of the pavement, and then we'll grab the right abutment. And in just a few seconds, uh, it's going to shadow, and I can pull that over so we can get a good picture of it as it places. And uh, everything should be in order. Uh, again, this was developed so we take into account the direction of the uh, graphics and by that I mean it does not matter which direction they're placed. So in that I have my bridge in place and, and what we'll do is we'll turn these constructions back on and you see what we've done is we've placed the uh, magenta rectangle out in our design so we'll go into our corridor and of course we would want to clip that out so we'll start with the main through road corridor and then we'll grab our shape and just simply reset it and in just a few seconds that should clip out and one last clip, we'll grab the cell, the corridor along the edge of the cell, and again, we'll now reset. And you see some pieces left over, so how do we handle these? We go into our microstation command and just simply insert a vertex into that civil geometry. And maybe we need more than one. Uh, well, you know, uh, let's try something here. Let's place another vertex on the back. And you see it's cleaning up nice. However, down here in this corner, 
I see we didn't extend our abutment wall out quite far enough so I want to grab that dash line and uh, what I want to do is grab that move point and simply extend that out and there we go so now I have my trim uh, also take note that the abutment cell placed with um, elevations intact so in other words as it placed we didn't have to define elevations on those abutment walls we simply allowed them to place at will and we have a very nice ridge deck at this time very dynamic um, someone asked me one time well what happens if we need to make a change not that that ever happens in the real world but uh, to the distance back or something like that so let's just go in here and you see we had 50 foot and let's change that to let's say uh, 45 and before I go and let's move it out of the way so we'll say 45 and we'll hit enter and there you have it. You see the bridge abutment just slide forward, the corridor clip, everything very tidy. And we'll move on.